Hello and a very warm welcome to Doing Business in Rwanda. Now Rwanda, that's Rwanda's national career, recently added Kinshasa, Guangzhou and Tel Aviv on its growing list of destinations, which now total 29. Today, we're going to unpack expected benefits from these destinations, which include boosting trade and tourism. Welcome, my name is Steven Muvunyi. In April this year, Rwanda launched direct flights to Kinshasa, the capital city of the neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo. The flight was met with excitement from passengers who frequent both countries, including business people, students, among others. Before Rwanda starts flying directly to Kinshasa, it was difficult for us because we will take local airplanes from Goma and it was really expensive. But ever since Rende started flying directly to Kinshasa, it has made everything easier and affordable. Before, I will travel to Kinshasa two or three times a year. But now, I am able to travel anytime I want because the price is really affordable and it really helps us. When we would fly to Kinshasa from Goma, it will take us four hours to travel from Kigali to Goma and two more hours and a few minutes to fly from Goma to Kinshasa. The Democratic Republic of Congo is Rwanda's main trading partner in the region and the flight is expected to take trade relations between the two countries further. Already on the bilateral level, uh, you've seen, you know, a number of initiatives. Uh, uh, when, when Rwanda launched its, uh, its first direct flight to Kinshasa, we had a business delegation of more than 35 business people from Rwanda who took part to, into the um, initial flight and were able to engage with their DRC counterparts and, and discuss business and investment opportunities. Uh, that was one. Uh, we had also, you know, um, meetings with, with uh, the DRC uh, ministers, being the Minister of uh, External Trade or the Minister of Industry to see what we can, uh, you know, areas of we can cooperate in. The Trade Minister of DRC also visited Rwanda in May, where we, uh, we, we made some commitments on the cross-border trade and, and were able to unlock some of, uh, of, of factors that had been hindering the cross-border trade. And this is really a start of, of not a start, actually, it's, it's strengthening the trade relations that, that evolve and making sure that, you know, uh, our countries can uh, can uh, you know benefit from from the new momentum in our relationship and have business people from both both countries. Later on in June, the airline spread its wings to the far east in China's third largest city of Guangzhou. The flight is also expected to cement trade relations between China and Rwanda. China is one of the biggest uh, trading partners for Rwanda. Uh, just uh, in the last two years, the imports has been able to grow on a rate of around 11%. So we've been able to import things around 390 million only in one year. And we're exporting something from 5.2 to 5.9 uh, uh, in one year. So the growth is at 11 to 13% on the trade. So that means it's, it's a trading, it's a big, one of the biggest trading partners. So when there's trade, there's movement of people, there's movement of passengers. So and we have to facilitate that. And the only way to facilitate that is through the, the air transport. And it's important that we launch a direct route between Rwanda and China, which we are doing today. But it's also important as a country, you know, aviation is always linked with the tourism. And uh, we want to attract as many Chinese tourists in Rwanda as, as, as many we can. So uh, one of the challenges has always been that we don't have uh, a flight from China to Rwanda, and we hope by this launch we'll then get as as uh, as many as we can. But by the way, you can see yourself the numbers. We're just the first flight. The, the flight is full, so it's so interesting and important for Rwanda. Uh, I think it's very significant not only to Rwanda Air but to Rwanda and the African continent because uh, what we're doing with this route is actually linking the African continent to to China, to mainland China. 
Uh, there's a lot of trade that, that happens between uh, uh, China and Africa. Uh, so this will facilitate uh, further trade, it will facilitate tourism in Rwanda, and it will also strengthen diplomatic ties between the two countries. By bringing down the cost of travel, the flight to Guangzhou could pave the way for more business opportunities, especially in the tourism sector, according to business people. Luanda is a landlord country, yes, but uh, uh, Luanda Air is really developing. Uh, uh, they, they even started uh, flying to China now and uh, I believe you know, more and more tourists will come. So after this project I'm planning to look into uh, outside of Chigali uh, to provide more uh, facilities for tourism uh, industry. If you make this traveling easy, uh, more people will come to Africa and especially Luanda, uh, yes, it will bring a lot of uh, tourist people, but at the same time, you know, you can also bring in uh, uh, many Chinese investors as well. Uh, in the past, you know, people are traveling uh, from China to here 20 hours. Uh, now, with Luanda Air flying to Guangzhou directly, uh, cut down to 13, 14 hours. So it makes things easier. The month of June also marked the beginning of Rwanda's flight to what many regard as a holy land, Israel. The 29th destination to the country's coastal city of Tel Aviv signifies a lot. This is a big step for us. Uh, Israel is our second destination in the Middle East after Dubai. Uh, we're very excited about it. Uh, it holds a lot of potential for us, both for Rwanda strategically in terms of strengthening diplomatic ties between the two countries, but also for our entire network, uh, where we'll be, we'll be uh, transporting uh, um, passengers from our different uh, destinations within the African continent to Israel, whether they're business uh, travelers or tourists or religious tourists. There is a lot of potential, and there's also potential of tourists coming from Israel to Rwanda or coming from Israel to the rest of uh, our network as well. I don't have the, the actual numbers with me, but we wouldn't open the route unless, unless there was that potential uh, for business. It signifies the uh, relations that are tightening. We need to look for more passengers coming from Israel, passengers going to Israel, uh, the outcoming and incoming tourism. This is a challenge and we will do it very quickly. Also cargo, we have to take into consideration export and import. So the relations, the trade, the, the people, they will flow to each other, it will be fantastic. The flight to Tel Aviv comes on the back of the opening of Israel Embassy in Kigali in April this year. In addition to strengthening ties between the two countries, the new destination is set to boost cultural tourism. Israel opened an embassy recently in April in Rwanda only to solidify our cooperation and this is only going to build the strength of our relations between the two countries. Of course, it goes with the priorities of Rwanda in increasing tourism, mice, uh, building also bridges with different cultures. Culture tourism is very, really important and uh, great for our diplomacy. So having people come to visit Rwanda and also us go visiting uh, the state of Israel, great friends to Rwanda, it's, it's only a plus. Israelis do not come yet, but now they will start coming. It will be much, much easier. It's a new destination, it's a new adventure. We have to sell it, we have to build packages. I'm doing it from first day. Uh, thank God also I succeeded in having uh, the opportunity to give visas. For so yesterday I gave the first visa to uh, Rwanda Air staff. So it's a very important, very important process that we are going through. The expectation is to bring Israelis and other tourists to Rwanda and make it a hub for transit and for visits, for tourism. Visit Rwanda now. This is a big step for the country and a good way to open our borders. The meaning of the word Rwanda is expanding and growing and that's what the country is doing. This provides many opportunities to both the business people and those aspiring to start doing business. A business. The three new destinations this year demonstrate Rwanda's continued growth amid tightening competition in regional aviation. It shows that Rwanda is there to compete with the, with, with the rest of the, of the airlines. 
um, we're growing and we're growing at a, at a good at a good rate in terms of expanding our network, expanding our fleet. Uh, so it's very exciting for us uh, to, to, to see the, the growth of the of the airline thus far. One big advantage for for Rwanda is also the the, the government support that we receive in terms of uh, aviation being at the top of the agenda uh, for, for the government, aviation being a key pillar for the economy of the country. So there's a lot, a lot of focus in terms of supporting the airline and growing the airline. Um, so I, I think that's, that's one, one major factor. And the fact that it's, it's critical for us uh, as an airline to connect Rwanda to the rest of the world and to connect the African continent to the rest of the world. So that, that's our mission and uh, we're committed to that and that's what we're implementing now. The rapid expansion of the career aligns with the country's quest to become an aviation hub in the region. Upcoming destinations include countries from Africa and North America. It means that uh, in the aviation sector, in civil aviation sector, we are we are also step by step achieving what we targeted to achieve, which is to become a, a, an aviation hub for Africa by being able to air connect Rwandans. You know, Rwanda is a landlocked country, but we know we are not air locked, so we need to use the means we have as a country to uh, to connect Rwandans. Uh, we might launch some other routes soon, but mainly we want to develop the routes, the potential routes of Africa, but link them with other with other continent. So there there are more more routes to come, more freight to come. But the most important thing is that this is just one part of the overall strategy as a country in air transport to, to, become, uh, to become an aviation hub. Uh, we're looking at launching uh, Luanda in Angola uh, very soon, as well as Addis Ababa. And in the long term, uh, in the coming months, uh, we are also looking at uh, New York as well. And that brings us to the end of today's episode of Doing Business in Rwanda. Remember, you can interact with us on Twitter at DBI Rwanda or write to us on email at dbiarrow at abm360.com or tweet to myself at Stephen Muvonyi. Thanks for watching.